Yo, check this out. Robin Sage training exercise for Special Forces candidates will be held in North Carolina from August 23rd to September 5th. So the school says the candidates in the training exercise are placed in an environment of politically unstable characterized by armed conflict, forcing soldiers to analyze and solve problems to meet challenges of the quote unquote real world. Now here's the counties of North Carolina that's participating in this event. And it also includes four South Carolina counties of Chesterfield, Dillon, Marlboro, and York. All these counties I just mentioned are generally in the same area. Besides this one in Tennessee of Carter County. Keep that in mind. Now here's a map of the quote unquote fictional countries involved in the Robin Sage exercise. The exercise that happened earlier this month was specifically for the Republic of Pineland. Now I want y'all to look at this area. This is not the same area where this manipulated weather just came through. But what's even crazy is right in the middle of this large quote unquote fictional area of countries is guess what? Carter County. Tennessee. Also, where all the other major flooding is happening at. And as I stated before, Carter County is literally right in the middle of the quote-unquote fictional countries that they're exercising on. So it shouldn't be a reach to question why they was exercising in this area a few weeks ago. And right after the exercise, this happens. Then the major flooding happens right in the middle of the whole area. And like I said in my last video, I experienced this storm, it was not right, bro. You could tell it was something iffy about it. Y'all see the widespread damage, all the people that lost power. And I've been here, people power just been turned off even though it's been on, they're doing it on purpose. And then the dams is the most important thing because you can't prove how it broken. And in my last video, I explained that I experienced a 2015 flood in South Carolina. The biggest dam break was on a military base. And like I say, out of all places, that should be fortified there because they have their own community, but it wasn't somehow but their whole lake went straight through the city bro causing all kinds of damage and this was after it stopped raining and then all the flood water goes straight down to the lower income areas because it's designed that way just look at your maps like i'm telling y'all this is clearly a psyop and here's proof and now we add the port strike to the picture now can y'all see how they're expediting the process of civil unrest you already got quote-unquote law enforcement protecting the businesses they're still missing people, but they'd rather find the food. Just think about how bad this will be if no one knows what's really going on. Because like I always say, they are creating psyops to make you fall into their traps. This is how they're going to get you to sign contracts to stay here, bro. Whether it's signing for housing, food, or maybe a job, because maybe you might lose your job during this situation. Anything for your consent for them to take your soul. Once they have your soul, you cannot think. All you can do is go along with the program. I've been preaching y'all 2025 is the last year's reality and they have to start making moves and when they start doing it's going to be quick because they can't give you enough time to think or allow you to run to people like me that's basically going to make it simple to see what's happening because it's almost common sense but we also brainwash most people can't see it even though it's right there in their face anyways y'all know I keep it y'all be guys peace